I see Dr. Dre in DOC. And Dr. Dre was like, yo, Dio, yo, this is Marcus, yo, he cool as hell. Cause we had talked, yeah. you know, and he yeah. was like, I'm introduce you. That's I'm gonna introduce you. Come on. He's like, yo, Mark, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm <laughs> It's a pleasure. Yeah. And I kept on going. Yeah. First week of shooting, the first day. I go in the trailer, there's F. Gary Gray. Mm -hmm. He says to me, right now, you're not Marcus anymore. From now on for the next couple of months, you're Suge Knight. On set, you're Suge Knight. And, that, and I'm still like, I don't know what terms me. Because you never took acting class. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, I want you to be method. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. And he was like, no, you are him. You are, you're Suge. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call you Suge. You're not going to be called Marcus. Mm -hmm. I got instructions. Nobody will call you Marcus. Mm -hmm. And if you have an issue, if you feel like talking, talk. And if you don't feel like talking, you can tell them to fuck off. I don't care if it's my mama. Mm -hmm. I want you to just be <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. And then this is what I said. Listen, people are already scared of me already. <laughs> <laughs> this old white lady was like holding it like, and he was like, yo, this ain't, this ain't no joke. Yeah. You got an opportunity. Yeah. Like, man, the fuck up. And he's like five foot six. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about yeah. spit. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. no, no you good. good. So he's and he's just like, yo, man, the fuck up. Yeah. Yes, sir. And that's what I did. Yeah. Then or later that day, I see Dr. Dre in DOC. And Dr. Dre was like, yo, Dio, yo, this is Marcus. Yo, he cool as hell. Because we had talked. Yeah. You know, and he yeah. was like, I'm going to introduce you. That's, I'm, I'm going to introduce you. Come on. He's like, yo, Mark, what's going on? And I'm like. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. And I kept on going. Yeah. We should. Dude. <laughs> dude. Dr. Dre got so pissed off. He had a meeting. Mm -hmm. He was cursing that nigga thinking he gonna disrespect me in my motherfucking set. Nigga. What's this yeah. method acting bullshit? <laughs> Cause yo, that dude, yo, he, yo. I don't know what the fuck, y'all. He need to go. Yeah. This, yo, he don't disrespect me and my dad. This a family set. Yeah. And he gonna act like that to me? Yeah. Nah, yo, fuck that boy. Yeah. And I and and I was just like, when I was told that, I was still like, hi. <laughs> you were still sure. Yeah. So that the the end of that that shoot that day, it was uh big yellow. A lot of the the rest of um mm -hmm. um um. The, the, the group mm -hmm. uh, F. Gary Gray and I was like yeah it's time to we, we done right <laughs> you done what you done yeah 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 we done alright listen you told me to do this. <laughs> Am I getting fired? I just, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm told you did what I did what you said. Like, why is he tripping? I didn't yeah. do. I, yeah. Like, he's supposed to tell him, and they started bugging out laughing yeah. what y'all did, yeah. which made me more angry because, right. like, yo, y'all laughing at me. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm scared out of my freaking mind, bro. <laughs> and, he, and then he, he, uh, F. Gary Gray was like, "You ain't fired." Yeah. D. J. Ellis said, "Motherfucker had a flashback." <laughs> 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 start laughing. So apparently, yeah, uh, it's a flashback. Yeah, that's what I was told. Ah, uh, it was a flashback. Okay. So, and then um, he uh, great great. I mean, so not great. Uh, Doctor Dre called um F. Gary Gray. He put him on speaker. Yeah, he cool. Yeah, but I want to talk to him in the morning on the next day. Yeah, we got to talk. And I was like, ah, right, okay. Yeah. We never we never talk. Okay, he's because he's a busy dude. Mm -hmm. But that day, I was only supposed to work there for ten days. Mm -hmm. I worked out for the entire. They wrote me an entire film. Oh, damn. right after that. So your I was part there for four months. Wow. So your part was smaller. And yeah, they wrote me in. The oh, entire damn. thing. Yeah, damn. yeah. Were you around when Suge pulled up? Uh, at nah, the I was. Point? I was in Jersey, but I got mm -hmm. the call though. Mm -hmm. I got the call, and then I found out who was involved, and I called him up. Mm -hmm. You good? Yeah. And he's like, I don't want to talk about it right now, bro. Because mm -hmm. he don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so I was just like, wow, this is... Oh, that's another thing. I almost got arrested there, too. Why? They called the cops on me. 
Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, yeah, I was swear to I can't make this stuff up. Yeah, there's somebody called police saying that Suge Knight is trying to break into the uh, studio. It was me. <laughs> okay. So me being method, yeah. the cops was coming and I'm just like, Fuck the police type yeah. thing. So he was like, um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Knight. I'm like, yo, yo, where is Bond? <laughs> and you don't say that because I'm, I'm East Coast. Yeah, right. But I was like, where is Bond, yo? You trying me, it's over for you. Mm-hmm. And I was just, I was just, I was just, I was in that thing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't coming out. Wow. And then F. Gary Gray is screaming, he's my actor, he's not shook. And he has security surrounding mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. to bring me back. Mm-hmm. And then after that, he talked to the cops, it was cool. Then he, he comes into the trailer. I'm thinking he's pissed with me or mm-hmm. something. He's like, this is going to be a great motherfucking movie, <laughs> nigga. We going to kill yeah. this shit. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, many memories. Yeah. Great memory. I, actually, they're all great. Yeah. I, uh, the, the people that played my entourage, they mm-hmm. were real. You know, pop, can I say that? Pyru. Yeah. Bloods <clears throat> in here. Yeah. Uh, and um, actually, we, one of my partners was on the Eastwood. Yeah. Yeah. Eastwood then, is my partner. Yo. Yeah. Great guy. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Big he played uh, Trayvon. Yeah. 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 Man. Mm-hmm. Like those guys, we I remember we were all just sitting in a circle and, and Bone had Bone mm-hmm. made that he wanted us to talk mm-hmm. and stuff and get to know one another. Mm-hmm. He's like one of these people's like, Yeah, I've been in in jail about 17 years. Like I just got out a week. I got a job on a mm-hmm. Hollywood set. I'm blessed. He getting a little Terry. Mm-hmm. And I'm Terry. Mm-hmm. You know, dudes is really, t- you know, mm-hmm. and all these dudes is like bigger than me. Yeah. And I was big at yeah. that time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was like we were just being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And to me, vulnerability with men is masculine. Mm-hmm. So when you have that, that's power. So mm-hmm. it really, to describe the feeling I had, it, mm-hmm. I felt like it was 1995 at the Million Man March. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to go. My mm-hmm. father said, nigga, you going. Yeah. But I'm so blessed that I did. Right. I never met <clears throat> so many, I felt that love yeah. you know, from other dudes, yeah. man. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like I wanted to show love. I wanted to give that dollar mm-hmm. or whatever. Cause yeah. I just felt great, and that's oh, how that's I felt dope. there. That's dope. Yeah. How, how did that you doing the Straight Outta Compton and the success of Straight Outta Compton? How did that change the trajectory of everything? Did everything just open up for you? Hell no, really. When we rapped, dude, I was broke. Damn, broke. That's keeping it one thousand. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had this so called manager. I can't really talk <clears throat> ill of him because he passed <clears throat> away. <clears throat> but um, dude, I was staying at uh uh Denny's bathrooms mm-hmm. like I would I would Damn. sleep there in the bathrooms in Koreatown wow in the Denny on Lancashire mm-hmm. in North Hollywood I was just like just sleep there mm-hmm. and this uh, is after straight out of college yeah, wow. yeah and I remember my mother um I, I wasn't telling her nothing mm-hmm. you know and my wife I was I was telling her whatever I was like I'm mm-hmm. good we good mm-hmm. we good and but I guess my mom, she she's she's nosy. So mm-hmm. she she uh she she asked a, a friend of mine. Well, not he actually no no, he was one of my bullies, mm-hmm. <laughs> one of my bullies. Okay, and he he went to that my mom's house and gave a couple of thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. You don't ever tell him it's from me. Mm. I was like, what? Mm. Wow, three thousand dollars. Why did he do that? Mm-hmm. I got all choked up and shit. Yeah. What makes a man do that? Like, because he, he made my life hell. Yeah, and it wasn't, and and I talked to him about it, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Dude, what you did for us, mm-hmm. yo, you put us on the map." Mm-hmm. And my friend, oh, my other friend, now that really, my boy, he was locked up. Mm-hmm. He did ten years, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I remember when I saw him again, I was crying because I was like, "I wish I went to see you." Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry because I was so busy. Mm-hmm. And I was getting choked up. He's like, nigga, because I saw you, I felt good. I told all these niggas in here, that's my brother. That's my brother, Marcus. People slept on him. That nigga like five fingers of death, but he's nice as hell. And he's fucking doing this shit. He always talked about it. And he's doing it. Man, you made me live. Mm-hmm. Got me choked up again, right. fucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and it was just like, and then other people mm-hmm. telling me stories like, yo, I got depression too. Mm-hmm. And, but, you know, back then, you know, 
it was taboo. It wasn't mm -hmm. real depression. It was laziness or whatever. Yeah, right. You know? <clears throat> so I'm like, everybody's, I was like, wow, mm -hmm. who would have known? Yeah. And that motivated me more. I was just humbled by yeah. it. Yeah. So if, I, if, I, if I'm 90, somebody calls me sugar, I'm good. Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.